Hey guys, Darth Clark here, back with part two of our How to Date a Magical Girl playthrough. So, last time, we started our little journey, we met Yuki, which is technically us, but I never see myself in the game at all, so it's just like another character to me. But regardless, we met Yuki, uh, and she is apparently attending a Magical Girl Academy, and apparently she has the ability to stop time, or at least supposedly. Um, she doesn't know how to control her powers, and uh, so far, of our whole cast of people here, we have met obviously the best friend, and uh, whose name kind of isn't, is it her name Hikari? Is that her name? I don't totally remember. And then we have Yui, and so far those are the two that we have met. Anyway, so we can go ahead and I uh, think, let's see here, I think this one was the one I think at the start of the month, I think. This is the one we're right after our first choice, so I think, yeah, I think this is the one we need. Okay. And so I have my guide in front of me to help me make sure we get our perfect endings here. And uh, I think that might be everything. But really quick before we hop into it, I noticed something very interesting today when I hopped onto my channel to check. We have officially crossed 300 subscribers. So thank you all very much. I super duper appreciate it. That is quite the... Uh, it is always really cool to see an increase um, because we are sitting at the same like 293 or something forever and so there has been a quite the jump for me on my channel to uh, we officially officially hit 300 so thank you all so much I super duper appreciate it anyway um, okay so uh, today is 420 <laughs> insert memes here okay so we're supposed to go straight to school according to my little guide and I trust it what did everyone think of their first week? I hope, I do hope you're all learning a lot. I remember way back when I was a student, I, w I was overwhelmed by all the knowledge my teachers wanted to share. I have a good feeling that you're all going to make wonderful magical girls and I'll make it my sworn duty to, uh, to help each and every one of you. Oh, and I also want to introduce someone that can help you. This is Marcel Marceline, I think is how you said that, Marceline. Marceline is a second year student, so she is your senior. Good to meet you. Marceline has kindly volunteered to offer guidance to the school's first-year students. She will be at your disposal disposal during school hours. Since I'm your senior, I know much more than any of you, so I guess I'll help you. I guess I'll help you out. I can give you information about school life, classes, extracurricular activities, whatever. You can find me in the first floor hallways whenever you need assistance. Thank you, Marceline. For the rest of today's class, I'd like to go over what you've learned during the week. The class, the class goes on. Okay. Uh, oh, Yui, you want you waited for us today. Oh, hello, Yuki. Hello, Akari. Ah, oh, Hikari, that was her name. I did remember. Anyway, yo! Sorry I left yesterday without saying goodbye. I had something urgent I needed to attend to. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's wonderful. No need to worry. I had a great week, thanks to both of you, so I'm so happy that I've made, uh, made some friends here. Me too. It's been such a fun week. Should we all walk home together? Oh, I, I actually live here now, at the dorms. Whoa, really? I had no idea. Sorry, I never told you sooner. Sorry I never told you sooner. Actually, the reason I left early yesterday was to finish setting up everything in my room. I had some new furniture delivered, so it finally feels like home. Well, that's pretty cool. It must be nice to have your own place. It's not bad. I mean, there are other students around, but my room is private. Private, huh? Do you not have your own place, Akari? No, I still live with my mother. I can't wait to get my own place, though. Ah, I see. What about you, Yuki? I have a small apartment in town, all to myself. Lucky you. Hikari seems to be moping. I think she's a bit envious that Yui and I have our own places, while she still lives at home with her mom. Hikari, you've always, you're always welcome to visit my place, you know, and I'm sure Yui wouldn't mind having you over once in a while, too. Of course, it would be my pleasure. Hikari brightens up a little. Thank you. I might take you up on that offer. Well, I'm off for now. Have a good evening, you two. Bye, Yui. See you later. Gotcha. Should we walk home together? Uh, there's still things I want to do. Rain check? Yeah, okay. I'll see you later. I feel like Yuki literally always turns her down. All right. So, evening of the 20th, uh, we're supposed to go to the library and spend time with Yui. Okay, uh, travel somewhere else. Library. Spend time with Yui. Not enough, obviously, affection to raise. We're gonna hang out. I hang out with Yui and we talk about our favorite movies. Yui slowly walks away when I go on an unstoppable rant about my favorite anime flicks. Well, she sure does. Yui's affection increased by one. All right, now the for the uh, for the night time here, we're supposed to read our book. I think I was about to say. I think we have one chapter left. Beautiful. Okay, there we finished the first book of expertise, and our expertise is now officially D. So that's 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 you know it's better. Definitely an increase there. Time to get some sleep. 
Okay, so the next day that matters is the 23rd. So I imagine over the weekend there will be lots of little events of, uh, you know, like non-regular events, you know. Oh, my phone, what time is it? Or well, that's probably not how she said that. Oh, my phone? What time is it? There we go, that's, that's probably closer to how it was. Oh, it's just a text message. OMG, wake up, you're missing school. JK, it's the weekend, I got you good. Uh, I'm assuming that's supposed to be anyway. Anyway, like I said, uh, Hikari does texting speak, and it takes me a minute because that's not how I text. Uh, anyway, Yui wants to go to the cafe. You should come with us, yes or no? Hikari and her early morning text messages. What am I going to do with this girl? It might be fun to hang out with Yui and Hikari at a cafe, but still, I have to mess with Hikari at least a little bit. I quickly reply back. No. As usual, immediately after the message gets sent, I get a response back. You meanie, you don't have any choice. Come meet me. At, come meet us at Cafe Shiva. I send her back a serious reply and let her know I'll be there. Cafe Shiba. I think I've seen it on the walk to school. Should should be easy to get there. The waiting aroma of fine coffee invites us into the cafe as I approach. When I enter, I'm surprised to see that the place is fairly empty, but I immediately spot two girls at the table giving me a goofy wave. Jeez, you took your time, didn't you? Yikes, sorry, sorry. Good morning. Good morning, Yui. Good morning, Hikari. Hmm. Have you ever been here before, Yuki? No, never. How about you? Uh, yeah, I come here all the time. I really like the coffee here. Plus, they always remember my order now, so it's a little it's less awkward to come here than to go anywhere else. It's a pretty cozy place. It'd be a cool idea to bring our books here and study. Oh, uh, please, it's the weekend. Can we talk about studying some other time? Yes, let's just enjoy the weekend. Have you two ordered yet? No, not yet. I can't decide. I want to get a croissant, but I don't know if it will fill me up. Would it be better to bring an out to getting an apple Danish, or will that not be enough either? Why don't you get one of each? One of each? I'm not made of money. I recommend the strawberry parfait. I think it's how that's. I think it's how you're supposed to pronounce that. It's wonderful. Parfait for breakfast. You're my kind of girl, Yui. Before long, a waitress comes around to take our order. I'll have the strawberry parfait, please. Oh, and also my usual coffee. I'll have a strawberry parfait too, and some. Chai tea? I don't know if that's how you're supposed to pronounce that, but whatever. I'll get a croissant, an apple danish, and a strawberry parfait, and a latte. Thanks. Wow. I'm assuming that's not all for me, but like, how full do I want to be? The waitress skips away, and the girls look at me in shock. You're gonna eat all of that? How could you betray me? Huh? Well, what did I do? You ordered all the things I couldn't decide between. You're a monster. Well, relax. I got a bit of everything so we can all share. Silence. Wow, that's really nice of you, Yuki. Thank you so much. Silence. You don't have to thank me if you don't want to, Akari. More silence. I can't believe you do such a nice, thoughtful thing. What's the catch? No catch, I promise. Just enjoy the food. Oh, well then, thank you. After Akari has finished grilling me about being generous, the waitress brings out our order. Yui is holding back a yawn as she sips her coffee from a gigantic mug. Is that your usual order, Yui? Uh, yeah, it's a bit big, I know. What's in it? It's a cappuccino with an extra shot of espresso. Wow, you must be so energetic if you drink that all the time. Actually, it's kind of the opposite. Because I stay up so late, I need these in the morning just to function. Hikari look, looks at Yui quizzically. I can tell she wants to ask why Yui's up so late, but doesn't get doesn't want to be intrusive. For once, I actually know something Hikari doesn't. I give her a smug grin. Yui stays up at watching horror films more often than not. Isn't that right, Yui? She nods gently. Whoa, horror films? I get goosebumps just saying those words. You must be really brave, Yui. Oh, no, not really. I can be a bit of a scaredy cat. I have lots of trouble falling asleep after watching something scary. I hear noises and see things in the shadows that aren't there. So, let me get this straight. You don't watch horror films because you're brave, but because you are you like scaring yourself? Something like that, I suppose. How odd. Uh, I mean, no offense. Don't worry, I know I have some strange habits, but what about you, Ukari? What are your hobbies? Uh, I'm a bit like Yuki. I kind of just like watching anime and reading manga. I love manga too. I read all, sor all sorts of horror stories. That's not really that much of a surprise. I don't think we would, we would we read the same kind of stuff. That's too bad. What kind of manga do you read? No, I can't tell you. You think I'm a little kid. Oh, go on. You know my weird hobby. I won't judge you. Well, okay. My favorite manga series is Cutie Star. Cutie Star? A thoughtful expression crosses her face, and I can tell she's straining to remember something. Oh, I know Cutie Star. I used to watch the animated series on TV every morning before preschool. Ouch. <laughs> the freaking ouch. It's so quiet. Uh, I see why you didn't want to tell me about it. It's okay. I know it's a children's series. I guess I really never really grew out of it. Seeing Cutie Star fight evil and transform into a magical girl inspired me all throughout my childhood. I never, I think I never let go of it when I got older because it, it was always so important to me. So I have always collected the manga, the manga, uh, the manga books and watched the TV show for as long as I can remember. There's nothing wrong with liking something that inspires you. In fact, I think it's great. I would love to sit, to sit down and watch Cutie Star with you sometime. Really? 
Oh, Yui, that would, that would mean so much to me. Thank you. Maybe Yuki can join us too. I don't know a, cu a bigger fan of Cutie Star than Yuki. Hey, don't drag me down with you. My obsession with Cutie Star is private. The girls lose themselves in a fit of laughter. I guess there's nothing to do except let them tire themselves out. I roll my eyes and dig into the food in front of me. We all spend a couple of hours together at the cafe, laughing and having a good time. The waitress eventually brings the bill around. Hikari glances at it and her eyes widen. Oh no. I had no idea this place was so expensive. I hardly have any money on me. It can't be that bad. Let me see the bill. She's like, yikes. Please, you're both exaggerating. We only had a couple of hot drinks and a little bit of food. Hmm. Though Hikari did order an extra parfait and a melon soda, and then there were the refills, and those can't have been free. I snatched the bill and looked at the total. Well, it's not that bad. I mean, I won't be able to afford to eat the rest of the week, but it's not the end of the world. Besides, if the three of us split it, it will cover it, we'll cover it easily. I reach for my wallet and notice something is amiss. Something, or someone, is missing. Yui, where's Hikari? I... Yui. She she said she had to go, but she thanks you for your generous contribution for your, to share for her share of the bill. Betrayed. Yui, can we split the bill 50-50? Uh, I would love to, but I only have a handful of change. I can cover my coffee at least. Uh, yeah, thanks. Completely defeated, I tell the waitress I'll pay with my credit card. At the very least, I can make, re, uh, make repayments later on. Maybe I'll sell a kidney or two. Yui bows after I finish paying and thanks me for the meal. She heads out the door before I even get so much as a chance to say goodbye. Wow, what a great friend. Freaking dining and ditching, man. I walk outside and expect to find her in a car on the street, but they're nowhere to be found. Just as I'm feeling used and abused, I receive a text message. Sure, uh, surely that's Akari telling me she's sorry for leaving me without paying. However, it's not Akari. Yo, what's up? You chillin' today? Ah, oh, it's my good friend Shin. He and I go way back. Though I haven't known him as long as Akari, he's still one of my best friends. I met Shin back in school when he was a bit of a troublemaker. He used to copy my notes in class and annoy me constantly by stealing my pen. I suppose after a while his annoying ways more, uh, wore me down and we became friends. I wonder if this is one of those games where I can hit start. Ah, yes, I can hit enter! Huzzah! Well, that's awesome, because that means I don't have to click over the mouse. It's more convenient for me. Before I get the chance to reply to his message, he buzzes me again. How's your new school? Lots, are there lots of hotties? I shoot him back a quick message, assuring him that there are indeed lots of hotties at the academy. Sweet. Yo, we gotta catch up. I have to do uh, the day off work tomorrow, Keen. I agree to meet up with him. It's been a while since we hung out. Dope. Can't wait. I'll see you at your place in the morn. Peace. I put my phone away. I, I put my phone away. I take one last look around the street to see if Akari or Yui are still lurking around, but I don't see either of them. Guess I'll just head home for the day and relax. That's pretty lame, man. They just, like... They, they just left. Like, at least Yui paid for her coffee, but freaking Akari's like, yeah, I'll get all this crap, and it's your problem. And she just bails. That's pretty low, man. Pretty low. The sound of the doorbell is elegant and serene. I've always liked the little chime that rings out whenever someone comes to visit me. <laughs> Alright, it's a lot less level love of likable, likable now. Then again, it's kind of annoying. I hate it, and I'm gonna remove it. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. Yo, open the door. It's cold out here. Looks like Shin has arrived. I head over to the door and let him in. Hey, what's up? I glance, I glance past him and look outside. The sun is shining and a warm breeze is blowing. You said, you said it was cold out here. What's the deal? Nah, it ain't cold. I just wanted to come in. I shake my head and Shin gives me his trademark stupid grin. Missed you. Haven't seen you in ages. Missed you too, man. How have you been? It's been so, it, it's been so good. Uh, raising dough every day. Well, you been making bread? No, dude. Making money. I got a job. I got a job a few months back. Someone actually hired you? Did they meet you first? Shut up, I'm working at a convenience store. The job's not great, but the money's and the money's not great either. So it's not great? Nah, it sucks, but but my any money is better than no money, you know? Besides, this is all just a stepping stone to bigger and better things. Oh yeah? What kind of things? Well, when I get together enough cash, I'm gonna start my own company. Hmm, that's right, you always wanted to design your own clothes, right? Hell yeah, shirts by Shin, or maybe Shin shirts, or... You'll, you'll get there, buddy. But congrats. And uh, I'm glad you're chasing your dreams. Thanks, dude. I knew you'd understand. So, like, tell me, what's it like going to Academy for Magical Girls? Are you the biggest nerd there? All in, and I have a little laugh. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read that. That seems weird. All in all, it's pretty great. I even made a friend. Good job. Is uh is a Hisakari studying with you? Yeah, she's in all my classes. Right on. Hey, uh, random question. I've seen the girls from your school walking home this hot walking home in the afternoon. How come everyone wears uniforms? Like, I get the whole uniform thing during high school, but this is. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Ter territory, uh, some sort of secondary later on education. Is it this match? Is it this magical girl academy more like a university? Well, Kari explained this to me once. She said it's more like a training academy than a university, like a military academy. So we all wear uniforms while we train. It has something to do with discipline or something. Sounds deep, dude. I didn't. I don't know about any of that, but the uniforms are hot at least. 
Yeah, I saw that response coming. So, can you do any magic tricks yet? Nah. Sheesh, I want results, and soon. We'll see. At the moment, I'm just happy to cruise along and learn what I can. You've got it made, dude. Your folks pay your rent, and you get to go to school with hotties every day. You've, you've got no idea what the world, real world is like for us working-class citizens. What's your point? I think you need a little taste of the real world. You should get a part-time job and see what it's like to work for your own money. Yeah, right. I've got enough on my plate as it is. Is that so? Well, when it ha when uh, well, what happens when you meet a cool chick and you want to take her out on a date? Are you gonna call your parents and ask for money? Well, uh, so you need you need to get your own finances in order so you can treat girls and have a good time. I hate to admit it, but you may be right. Exactly, Shin is always right. You're finding a part-time job will be tough, but finding a part-time job will be tough. I hardly have any free time with classes every weekday. I got you covered. The convenience store is hiring, and they love students because they can pay them next to nothing. You're really selling this place. I'm serious. Money is money. We can work together. It'll be dope. Hmm. Tell you what. I'll put in a good word for you with the boss, man. I'll see if I can get you some flexible hours. And if I do that, would you at least give it a shot? Yeah, okay. I'll give it a shot. Bang. That's awesome, dude. Shin and Yuki to get working together just like the old days. I don't remember those old days, but whatever. Nah, you know what I mean. Anyway, tell me more about the new friend you made. Is she cute? Shin and I spent mo uh, more time together chatting and playing some video games. It was really good to catch up with them again. Shin went home in the afternoon and I started. I chilled out for the evening. Getting ready for bed when my phone goes off. Yo, talk to the boss. He says you've got the job. You'll be on uh, cash register with me. Is that sweet or what? Oh, that didn't take long. Looks like I stumbled upon a part-time job. Best bit is the hours are super flexible. You can basically just come in whenever you want to work. So whenever you want to work. So come in uh, to the convenience store if you ever need to earn some cash. See you soon. Working part time. You can now visit the convenience store in town. Working at the convenience store will allow you to earn money. Use money earned to purchase items from stores, such as gifts to give to girls. The amount of money you can earn working uh, working is tied to your expertise attribute. Hence the reason we've already raised it by one. Raising your expertise to earn more money. That's the reason that the uh, our little guide here is prioritizing raising the, uh, raising, raising. <laughs> I don't know why my brain just shut off there. That's the reason our, the little guide here is focusing on raising our expertise because obviously that means more money. Obviously. Okay, so the 23rd, Monday, we are supposed to go straight to school. Which will, we, we do that almost every time, so that is, uh, nothing too crazy there. The school hallways are abuzz with chatter this morning. A huge group of girls are crowded in the main corridor, blocking my way to class. I can, I can hardly even hear myself think with all the high-pitched squeals in the air. I start to think that maybe something bad has happened. Is someone injured? I begin to push through the swarm of students in an attempt to find the source of the commotion. The crowd gets thicker and thicker as I progress down the hallway. A, the senseless squeals have dissolved into hush whis hushed whispers, but I can make out some of the words. I can't believe she's here. She's so beautiful. I wonder what classes she's taking. The fear I had about this whole situation disappears when I realize the center of attention is just one girl standing in the middle of the crowd. A tall brunette a, a tall brunette in the same academy uniform as everyone else, her class badge reveals her to be a third year, a senior, in her final year. Introducing possibly, I mean, at least one of my favorite characters, maybe my favorite, it's... So I played about five hours of this game the first time I did it before I forced myself to stop so I could w wait for YouTube. But when I did do that, I got, you know, obviously five hours in or so. And my f two favorites that I was kind of tied, like tied between, was uh, was this girl whose name we will meet, sh whose name we will know shortly. And then the other girl was Yui. So but Yui and this girl were, were my two favorites, are the ones that I kind of went back and forth between. Anyway, I stumble forward into the vacant, vacant area the students are surrounding. The third year girl turns to look at me. Can I help you? Miyu, that's her name. Her words ring out and immediately silence the crowd. Uh, you pushed her through the crowd just to see me, didn't you? Have we met before or something? No, I don't think so. Uh, you don't seem like the rest of my admirers. Something's different about you. Well, if you want a signed yearbook, you'll have to wait until graduation just like everyone else. Why would I want your signature? The crowd gasps. A good ten seconds pass in complete silence. A tumbleweed passes. You, you don't know who I am? I could ask you the same question. To my surprise, the girl giggles. Her stoic expression is broken down into a beautiful laugh, even if only for a moment. Hmm. My name is Miyu. It's nice to meet you. Yep, nice to meet you. I'm Yuki. Tell me, Yuki, what made you approach me like this? Well, there were heaps of people gathered around. I couldn't even get through to my class. I actually thought something bad would have gone down. Something bad? I assure you there's nothing to be worried about. My fans get overzealous from time to time, and gathering like this, uh, gatherings like this aren't unheard of. I take a glance at the crowd. A few dozen pairs of angry eyes are like laser-focused on me. I feel the heated glare is burning a hole in my forehead. 
Don't mind them. I think they're just they're jealous that you're the only one with the courage to speak to me. Is that so? This girl, Miyu, she's extraordinarily beautiful, not to mention calm and composed, but I can't help feeling she's a little condescending. Just why is she all? Just why is she so famous anyway? I decided to ask her that very question. Why are you so famous anyway? I wouldn't say I'm famous, just incredibly admired. There's that feeling of condescension again. To answer you truthfully, I'm currently the number one student here at the Academy. My grades are the highest in history in every single subject. In addition, my extracurricular activities in, uh, include class presidency, volunteer work, cross-class liaison, I don't, maybe, uh, charity fundraisers, high society function planning, international representation for the Union of Magical Girls. Wow, I feel myself dozing off as Miyu continues. And last but not least, I also conduct the Academy's orchestra. Oh, she's done. That's uh, it's quite a lot you have on your plate. It's it's nothing. Oh, did I mention that I'm also on, re on record as one of the youngest magical girls to ever awaken to her powers? Well, you've mentioned it now. Yuki, I'd love to hear more about some about your achievements. I don't think you want to hear that. <laughs> Judging by your badge, you've only just joined the Academy as a first year, uh, but I'm sure you have some noteworthy skills or accomplishments you can share. Uh, think, Yuki, that has to be something remarkable I could boast about. Uh, my magical power involves freezing time, or something like that. Yuki's brow furrows. Freezing time? Oh, and, uh, I also just scored a part-time job at a convenience store. How's that for an exciting extracurricular activity? Yeah, there you go. Nailed it. Well played. That was very suave. I could tell Miyu is still pondering my time-freezing magic revelation. Come to think of it, her reaction is pretty similar to Miss Yoshida's back in practical magic class. Yuki, I'd like to speak to you more about, um, more with you... What? I should like to speak with you more in the near future, perhaps away from prying eyes and eager ears. The crowd of girls around us shuffles uncomfortably. Sure, sounds good to me. I'm glad. Until then... Interesting. She's gonna be fun. Without any hesitation, Miyu walks away. The group of girls surrounding us splits in two, with half following Miyu, the other half continuing to gossip about the morning's events. Now that there's a break in the crowd, I manage to get to my classroom without any more delays. As I enter the room, I notice that Tomi has already started teaching. I quickly hurry to my seat in between Hikari and Yui. Hikari gives me a slap on the back of the head for being late. I deserve that. She whispers to me in an angry yet hushed tone. Where have you been? Sorry, sorry, I got caught up. I decide against telling her about meeting Miyu. For some reason, I feel like telling her I'm late to class because I met a beautiful girl is a bad idea. Is there something you're not telling me? No, seriously, it's all good. Hikari mumbles quietly to herself. Don't lie to me. I'm sorry to interrupt, but if you two could keep your discussion until after class, I'd really appreciate it. Hikari blushes in embarrassment. She nods her head in apology to Miss Otsuka? Maybe? I still don't know how to pronounce her name. Uh, last name. I get my books out and start trying to write some notes to Miss Ots as Miss Otsuka speaks. It isn't long before a scrap of paper gets passed to me, or it, one on it is Hikari's scribbled handwriting. Yui baked some sweets over the weekend and brought them to share, but you were late to class, so I ate them all. Sad face. <laughs> I frown and crumple up the note. Akari pouts and lets out a hump, just quiet enough so that the teacher doesn't hear her. At the end of the class, Atomi tells us to close our books. I do so and let out a yawn. Before you all go, there's just one more thing I'd like to say. Your time at the Academy should be devoted to more than just studying. It's very important to make friends along the way. Your bond, the bonds you form in your prime years will go on to strengthen over your entire lifetime. Don't miss out on the opportunity to form the most important relationships in your life. At the same time, it's important to bear in mind not all of your relationships will work out. Some of you will travel to uh, travel travel the world after graduation, after graduation, such as the life of a magical girl in this day and age. You can't always know if you'll ever see your friends again. Form relationships, but don't get too attached to any one person. No one can predict what the future has in store. Uh, I'm just gonna call her Satomi because that is her first name, and I don't know how to pronounce her last name, so we're just gonna go with Satomi. Satomi's ominous, ominous words don't sit well with me. Why would you tell us to form relationships but not get too attached? It doesn't, doesn't make sense. I glance at Akari. She still hasn't got the same scowl she had at the start of class. Although we fight sometimes, I know we'll always be friends. Time or distance can never separate us. There's only there's no point worrying about Satomi's words. And I've got more friends than Hikari too. Shin is a good pal, and I recently met Yui. Then there's that other girl Miyu from this morning. I wonder if she and I will get to be great friends. You never know. The school bell rings and interrupts my thoughts. Time to head out. Okay, so we are on the 23rd. We need to return our former book uh, as soon as we have the option and get the next level of expertise. Okay. At the school gates, I wait around for or for a while to see if Hikari and Yui will show up. I'm surprised to see none other than Miyu approach. At first, I hardly recognize her without a throng of students surrounding her. Hello again. Hello, Miyu. Miyu almost looks shy, nervous even. It's stark contrast to the holier-than-thou aura she had earlier in the day. 
Sorry we didn't get much of a chance to talk this morning, and I wanted to catch you before you left for the day. You wanted to catch me? Yeah, I wanted to apologize. For what? I think I gave off a false impression of myself. To tell you the honest truth, I'm not as perfect as everyone thinks I am. Well, your fans seem to think you're pretty dang great. They think the world of me, but I'm... It's just a sham. Or maybe I'm just a sham, I kind of missed it, to be honest. Uh, a pained expression crosses her face. Is this really the same girl I met this morning? Before I can even say anything to her, Hikari comes bounding up to me. Yuki, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Really, Hikari? I always wait by the gate. You should have looked here first. Oops. Oh, who's your new friend? Hello, my name is Miyu Himura. Himura? Himura? Himura, there you go. Are you a friend of Yuki's? Hikari's jaw drops. Even if she didn't recognize Miyu at a glance, she seems to have recognized her name immediately. You, you're, you're the Mi, the Miyu? Oh my gosh. Uh, Miyu, this is my good friend Hikari. It's a pleasure, Hikari. She knows my name. Hello, everybody. Ooh, ooh, what's a, what a big group. Who's the new face? Another friend of Yuki's? Could it be that you're as popular as me? Uh, I doubt that. Miyu, this is Yui. Yui, this is Miyu. Hello. Nice to meet you. Yui, don't you know who this is? This is Miyu Humura. She's the most po she's the most famous magical girl at the whole academy. Uh, yeah, I thought so. Yui bows slightly to Miyu. She doesn't seem starstruck in the slightest, unlike Hikari, who is drooling like a child. Anyway, Yuki, I should get going. Maybe we can run into each other again. Sure, sorry about my weird friends. Don't worry about it. I, I have my own weird friend I should probably go and find. Farewell, everyone. Miyu takes her leave and Hikari comforts me. The dazed, the confronts me, not comforts me, confronts me. It's very different. <laughs> the dazed look on her face has been replaced by one of sheer fury. Why didn't you tell tell me that you were dating Miyu Hermura? Dating? What planet are you on? Don't try and hide it from me, Yuki. There are fireworks flying between the two of you. Fireworks? You are dreaming, girl. I only met Miyu this morning. Fine, but I just want you to know that I don't even care if you date her. She's perfect in every way, so do what you want. With that, Hikari storms away in a huff. Um, I'm not dating Miyu. Oh, I, oh, I know that. I know you're. I know when you're telling the truth. Good. I wish Akari would believe me. Don't fret about Akari. She'll go. Oh, she always comes around, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. Thanks, Yui. My pleasure. Well, I'm gonna head home. Have a nice night, Yuki. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Ah, yes. The hard life of a social butterfly. I wish I say I could identify, but boy, I really can't. All right. Uh, so we're going to the library. We need to return the book. That we finished and then grab the next level of expertise okay doing that and then we're gonna borrow a book and we're gonna take expertise level two okay and then we're gonna go to the convenience store and work go somewhere else convenience store and we're gonna work I spent, I spent time working here I can earn money so I'm not gonna read a lot of the the uh, cuz like a lot of the prompts are just about the same. Like, like when I return a book, the prompt is always the same. So that type of stuff, I'm probably gonna start skipping through because it's not anything groundbreaking. I mean, I returned a book, I picked up a new one, stuff like that, you know? So if I just like click through a dialogue, it's because it's not important. So just so you know. I grab an apron and put it on, then head behind the, the checkout to start work. Time goes by slowly. So these, when you work, the uh, it, the events aren't always the same. There's like a, there's a few different ones as you work. A little scenarios will happen, and the scenarios honestly are kind of entertaining. So we will we will probably read those because that they're, they're kind of funny. Hello, I'm looking at this pack of sushi you have. Do you have anything without sushi? Uh, you'd like a pack of sushi without any sushi in it? Yes, please. Do you have that? Let me check out the back. Thank you. I get all, go out into the storeroom. After pretending to check for the customer's request, I return to the customer. Sorry, fresh out. Oh, I see. Thank you anyway. The rest of my shift passes without any excitement. Thanks to my expertise attribute, I earned a bonus. Boy, we sure did. 1400 Isn't it yen in Japan? Isn't, isn't it yen, I think? Time to head home. Because we did not earn $1,400 for working one night, that's for sure. Okay, uh, so we already worked. Now we're just supposed to read our book. And just like with anyone, there is three chapters total in any of the books. So, now you know. Let me uh, scooch my mouse somewhere a little more out of the way. Alright, uh, Tuesday, the 24th. Okay, uh, we, I think we have a test today. Anyway, but we have, okay, we said we're going straight to school. And then there'll be a, I think, I think this is a test. I think there's a test today. And then we're going to go work at the convenience store and then read again. Okay. So nothing too crazy there. Good morning, Yuki. Oh, it's me again. Hello. Sorry th that I can't stop to talk. I need to get to my first class to set up the room before the teacher arrives. Okay, well, have fun. See ya. Miyu heads down the hallway. I decide to go straight towards my own class. 
Good morning, students. Are you all ready for another thrilling magical history class? Half the class cheers, the other half lets out a groan. Today's lesson will be rather interesting. It, we will look back at the origins of the first magical girl. The precise date of the origin of magic hasn't been found, but we know for certain that it dates back thousands of years. The story goes like so. A teenage girl on the cusp of womanhood left her village in search of a better life. She stumbled upon a garden full of flowers and animals. It, has a, it was a wondrous place, rich with life and vibrant with color. As she explored the garden, she came to realize it was a very place told of her in legend in her village. Told of in legend in her village. A place that has long since been forbidden. But the girl could not imagine why such a lovely garden would be forbidden, so she stayed but and she explored. The girl came across the biggest tree in the garden in, in the garden. Its sprunk spiraled into the sky and its branches bore magnificent translucent fruit. She climbed the tree and took some of the fruit from the branches. The shimmering blue fruit shone like crystal in the sunlight. Without hesitation, she bit into the fruit's flesh. Despite its beauty, the fruit tasted terrible. It was sour, and the seeds within reeked like with the stench of death. Perhaps because of her hunger, the girl continued to eat the disgusting fruit. She climbed down from the tree and, in no surprise, began to fall ill. Somehow, she stumbled back to her village. Her parents had been worried sick, had been worried sick about her. The girl told them where she had been and described the fruit she had eaten. Though she was scolded for entering the Forbidden Garden, her parents were simply glad to have her home safe. However, the girl fell into a deep sleep. She did not wake for 40 nights. With each passing night came feverish nightmares. She broke out in sweat and shoot at her, at her bed until her fingers bled night after night. When she finally awoke, she found that her room was empty. Her home was empty. She ventured outside to witness her village turn to ash. Horror and despair overwhelmed her, and she found that only her own house was still standing. After unsuccessfully searching for survivors, the girl left her village. She returned to the Forbidden Garden and found that the tree that bore fruit had also been redu had reduced, to reduced to ash. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Upon seeing this, memories of her nightmares began to stir within her. The screams in her head returned, and the image of images of flames and smoke overwhelmed her senses. Immediately, she understood. She had not a she had not been asleep for so for so long. She had been in a trance and had raised her very own village with hellfire born from her own blood. Her nightmares were actions carried out by her unconscious self. The horror wrought upon her village was transformed by her own hands. Racked with guilt and despair, the girl left the Forbidden Garden once more. She journeyed across the land for an unknown period of time. There are no records of the years she spent on her own. Historians believe that one day she came across a city that is now modern-day Rome. There, she somehow managed, managed to lead a peaceful life. Perhaps she returned to control. She learned to control the fires burning within her within her blood. She married and bore no less than eight children during her lifetime. Seven girls and one boy. All seven of the girls went on to become somewhat famous magical girls. It seems the magic within their mother's blood was not diluted when it was passed on to them. The eighth child, the only boy, did not show any signs of magical power. He was struck blind by an accident on his 15th birthday, and he was reportedly rendered deaf by an explosion caused by his older sisters when he was 20. Wow, sucks to be the boy, jeez. According to one source, the boy took a vow of silence from that point on. No further records of his later life have been recovered. So there you have it, the complete story of the world's first known magical girl. That's really That was really depressing, thanks teacher. Scholars believe that this story is at least 90% accurate. Of course, we learn more about the ancient world every single day, so the story may evolve with time. However, the story is part of the reason why institutes like our academy exist. We aim to train magical girls to control their powers and prevent accidents such as burn down villages. Well, that just about wraps up class. I'll see you all next time. At Schoolgate, I can see none other than Miyu chatting to Hikari and Yui. Ever since meeting her yesterday, Miyu seems to be popping up everywhere. Uh, I'm surprised I never ran into her during her during the first week of school. I bet the crystal fruit that was in the Forbidden Garden tasted really sweet. I don't think that's right. Uh, Miss Arcane said that it was sour and reeked of death. Oh. Yui's correct. The fruit in the legend was beautiful on the outside and foul on the inside. The same can be said of many people. Well, I still like to believe it was a little sweet. If it tasted bad, it wouldn't have been. It would. I wouldn't have taken more than one bite. Yo, Yuki, how'd you like today's class? It was cool. Uh, now I know about magical girls first got their powers. Who would have thought magic came from a blueberry? It wasn't a blueberry. The fruit was large and shone like crystal. Don't mind. Don't mind Yuki, Miyu. Yuki dozes off in class more often than not. Is that so? That's a poor attitude to have. Maybe I should quiz you just to make sure you've been paying attention. Oh, good idea. Do it. Since when did these three become such good chums? Are they allying against me? Okay, here we go. In the story of the first magical girl, how many children did she have? A, I, I already know the answer, but even if I didn't, I happen to have the answer right in front of me. So, eight children, seven girls, one boy. Ah, correct. Well done, Yuki. Thank you. Affection for me, you increased by one. Yay. 
Well, anyway, got some things to do. See you later. Yuki, feel free to come talk to me whenever you feel like it. Farewell. Bye, Miyu. Goodbye. So, you're good friends with Miyu now, huh? Yeah, she's so nice. I'm not even nervous about talking to her now. She was happy to talk to us about the class we had today. She said that she first learned about the origins of magical girls. She was shocked. Apparently, she could really relate to the way the girl discovered her powers. Is that right? Want to want to walk home with me? No, I'm good today. Hmm. Well, see you tomorrow. I'll get going too. Bye bye. Me was now available to spend time with. I could check her schedule to see when she hangs out. Boy, I sure can. Okay, so really quick though, it occurs to me you guys won't see this. So in the status here, obviously we can see where everyone's sitting. We can see our attributes, which that part you've seen. The difference that you probably would not have seen, if I can find where it hangs out here. Uh, maybe it was ah, there, there it is. Okay, so this is the schedule. So normally. Obviously, we're playing with a guide open, so this doesn't. So this is like very not at all important to us. However, um, however, when you are when you're playing just like blindly and you're just going through, you'll be staring at this schedule every single day because you'll be monitoring the everyone's affection level super closely, and you will be monitoring monitoring whenever anyone's out available to hang out with very closely. So normally, this is very important, but for us specifically, it does not matter. So. Anyway, so today is the 24th. We are supposed to go to the convenience store and work, and then... Yeah, let me see here. So it is April 24th, because it, me was available to hang out with this evening, so I'm surprised that the guide says not to. So I will trust the guide. I'm sure it knows better, but it seems weird to me that we would ignore the chance to hang out with Miyu. But whatever. Uh, okay, so travel somewhere else. Convenience store. So we're, we gotta go work, basically. Travel somewhere else. Convenience store. Work here. Okay. Grab an apron, put it on, head behind the counter. Time goes by slowly. Just this beer, thank you. Uh, you look a little young. You have any ID? Yes. Great, can I see it? Yes. Silence. I left it somewhere. You wanna go and get it? Can't sell you this beer without ID. Okay, I'll go get my ID. Can you hold the beer over here for me? Sure, no problem. The customer leaves. They never come back. Thanks to my expertise attitude, expertise attitude, I earned a bonus. Attribute, not attitude. Alright, so there's that, and then we're gonna read our book with the evening. Two chapters left in that, by the way. Okay. Beautiful. Alright, now we're on the 25th, right? Yup. Alright, so we're going straight to school, and then we're going to shop at the convenience store after school. Okay. That'll be different. Alright, after alchemy class finishes for the day, I hang around in the lab with Akari and Yui. God, I just can't get my head around this, how this potion is supposed to work. You want some help? I think I've got this one figured out. Oh, that would be so kind of you. Is it okay to stay here during lunch and work on it? Sure, let's do that. Yuki, do you want to, you want to stay here with us? No way, I'm not skipping lunch to study alchemy. I've got to eat. Blah, go on then. I, get, I wave to the girls and leave the lab. Normally, we all eat lunch together on the rooftop, but since I'm on my own today, I might, I might, might go eat somewhere else. When I walk through the hallway, I catch a glimpse of the courtyard outside. It seems nice and warm, and as much as I hate being outdoors, I can't help but think it would be enjoyable to sit among the cherry blossoms and eat. Well, that decides it. Today, Yuki is braving the unknown and eating lunch in the courtyard. Well, it's not that unknown. Like, it's just a courtyard. And look how pretty it is. How could you resist? When I get outside, I hear the faintest meow of a cat. Could it be? Did someone bring their pet to school? I decide to ignore it and start looking for a place to sit. The big cherry blossom tree in the center of the courtyard looks lovely. I might sit in the shade. As I walk over, I hear the meow, the cat meowing again. Where on earth is that coming from? I poke my head around the side of the tree and see the cat in question. More importantly, I spot a, a cute young girl playing with the cat. Introducing character number four. I think it's four, right? Yeah, four, I think. It's a girl whose name I'm gonna struggle to pronounce. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be rough, dude. It's gonna be rough. Uh, the blonde girl is smiling as she tickles the cat. She seems to be in a world of her own. This girl is my least favorite, fun fact. She, it's gonna be rough. Not only is her name really hard for me to pronounce, it's uh, she's also my least, my least favorite character. <laughs> she looks far too young to be a student at this academy. I thought she had to graduate high school before coming here. Still, she's wearing the academy uniform, so maybe there, there, so there could be no doubt that she studies here. I wonder if she's some sort of child prodigy, maybe even smarter than Miyu. The cat purrs as the girl rubs it rubs its tummy. I can even hear a giggle. I can hear her giggle, a sweet, angelic melody that fills me with joy. Yeah, I'll just let her talk to you first. That'll go away. I seem to have forgotten what I'm doing and realize I'm standing and staring like a creep. I try to step back, but I stumble over something and trip. 
Although I managed to catch myself before falling, my clumsiness has scared the cat away. It shrieks and bolts out of the courtyard. The blonde girl looks startled and turns in my direction. She says something in French. You flipping idiot! You scared away the cat! Uh, I definitely wasn't expecting the cute young girl to call me an idiot with such disdain in her voice. Unbelievable! What are you doing here? Were you, were you perving on me? No, of course not! I heard a cat! So I- So you thought you'd come over and scare it away? How annoying! Something in French. Well, don't just stand there. Apologize to me. Uh, sorry. I can't hear you! I said I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare the cat away. I should teach you a lesson or two about respect. Hang on just a second. I don't think you should be te- I don't think you should be, you should be speaking to me like this. I'm your elder, you know. You're way too young to be treating me this way. I swear the girl's eyes flash red with rage. She looks at the badge on my vest and takes in the fact that I'm a first year student. You're a first year? And something else in French. Look at my badge. Look closely. I'm a second year. That means I'm your senior. I may look young, but I'm older than you. So how about you show me some, how you show me some respect? I've never heard that never heard that term in my life. I'm gobsmacked. Well, that sounds like a typo to me. Uh, how is this brat older than me? Yeah, she's certainly something. Sorry, I almost thought you were younger. I just looked at you just look so cute and innocent playing with the cat. The girl's face blushes bright red. Cute? Shut up. Who asked you anyway? I mean, even if you think I'm cute, you're still a creep. My bad. Look, I'll just get out of your way. Sorry for troubling you. Uh, wait! Um, I didn't say I wanted you to leave, did I, idiot? You, you can stay if you want, if you really want. I'm not sure I want to stay. You've been nothing but mean to me. I'm sorry. Please stay. I'll be nice. I shouldn't have said those mean things. You're an idiot if you thought I was really being mean to you. See, there you go again. I, I just can't help it. You have this face that makes me want to call you. That makes you look stupid. Right. See ya. <laughs> I turn and begin to walk away. As I walk off, I feel a tug at my sleeve. I turn back. Please don't go. I, I want to be friends with you. Really? Yes. You. It. Um. Yes. Please. Okay, we can be friends on one condition. What's that? You can't call me an idiot anymore. Fine, but it'll be difficult. Just do your best. What's your name anyway? I'm Kaori? Cow, Kaori? I, I don't know why my brain cannot process that. Go, it's, it's K-A-O-R-I. Like, how are you supposed to pronounce that? I can read it just fine, and like, I can, but, like, saying it out loud is, is rough, all right? Anyway, and I already know that you're Yuki. Maybe if we're lucky, I'll just never have to say your name again. <laughs> it's just, it was a one-time thing. Problem solved. Anyway, how'd you do that? A few people are talking about you. Apparently, your magic power is almost non-existent. Yeah, that sounds like me. Anyway, well, maybe you'll learn a few things if you hang out with me. Okay, that sounds good. I appreciate the help. Good. Anyway, I have to go find that cat you scared away. Honestly, you've caused me so much trouble today. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. She rushes off. I'm not really sure what just happened. Did I make a friend or a new and powerful foe? Regardless, she is a complete handful. I'll have to keep on guard around her. I'm just gonna avoid saying your name as long as I can. I decide it's time to eat my lunch, just as the school bell rings, signaling the start of the next class. Great, guess I'll, hung guess I'll go hungry today. The usual crowd is gathered to wait for me at the school gate. However, there there's one new face in the mix. Could you have kept us waiting any longer? Honestly, just what are you good for? Um. She's right, we've been waiting here for ages, where have you been? I grabbed something to eat, because I missed lunch today. You ate without me? Betrayed. Honestly, did you do you even think before you act? Yuki, sorry everyone's so hostile. Thank you, Yui. I'm used to it. Oh, Miyu's here too. Hello. Somehow I've managed to amass a group of female friends without even trying, but I never expected having my own harem would be so exhausting. That's not even close to what, what what's happening here. Uh, Akari, did you know this other girl whose name I can't pronounce before today? Huh? No. We just met. We met just now. She said she was waiting for you too. I think we. I think we instantly bonded over that. Huh? You. Sh sheesh. You act like your best. You act like your best friends. It's because we're united against idiots. Hey, you promised you wouldn't call me an idiot anymore. I didn't. I was talking about idiots in general. You. You. Just say it. I don't want to now. She seems like this might. It, it seems what? This seems like it might drag out for a while. I'm going elsewhere. See ya. I don't blame you, Miu. We say goodbye to Miu. Yui leaves shortly after, and then it's just me and my two bullies left standing. No, my two nice people! Why are you two left? Uh, uh, I should just call- I should come up with a new name for her, like, Cat or something. Cause then it's kinda- of, it's like kinda of similar, but then that way I don't have to mispronounce it. Oh, Cat. Where do you live? We can walk home together. Well, that's sweet of you, but I live in the dorms here. Oh, really? You're just like Yui, then. Is that so? Never seen her- never seen her around here. Around there. Weird. I'll keep- I'll keep an, a look out and say hello if I see her. Yeah, I'm really glad we met today. Me too. It's nice having a friend that isn't, isn't a complete waste of space. Was that directed at me? No, of course not. I heave a sigh and think the girls feel bad for me, at least for a second. Well, I should get home. Mom tends to worry if I stay out too late. Yuki, will you walk home with me? Sorry, I've got things to take care of. Okay. 
Hikari wanders away. You! Hikari- Uh, cat points a finger at me violently. For a minute I forgot I renamed her already. What did I do now? When you have free time, uh, you will come and talk to me. No excuses. I don't wanna- I don't want to always be by myself. Uh. Don't object. You don't expect me to wait around for you every single day. I'm not lonely, you know. I'm getting very mixed feelings from her. Fine, I'll come and see you. Just sometimes. Good. I hang out at the department store on some nights, but for now, I'm going home. Bye. She spins around and hurriedly walks off. I let out a sigh of relief. I'm glad that encounter is over. I let out a yawn and realize that I'm way more exhausted than I thought. Maybe I should just head home and hit the hay early tonight. Being friends with her is probably going to continue to drain my energy. She's now available to spend time with. I can check her schedule to see where she hangs out. Alright, so we are officially on the 26th, although it's funny because the guide says it's the 25th, but we didn't have the choice to do this on the 25th, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's a uh, wee little typo, and that I can, I'll just stick to this one. Hopefully that's, uh, hopefully that's the case, because the guide says it's the 25th, and it's not on the 25th, we didn't have a choice, so I'm just going to go, hopefully assume it's wrong. Weird, because like the other thing too, so the guide goes from April 25th, and then it says we're supposed to get an achievement, but I already have that achievement. But then, it doesn't put a date on this other part, and it just says like, go somewhere else, convenience store, work here, start work, read a book, or whatever. So it's like, it's like you kind of got to make a choice, so I guess I'll... Weird. Okay, yeah, maybe we'll just, uh, we'll just hope that that's the 26th, and we'll try and stick with this. Hopefully, we, hopefully it'll all be fine, hopefully. For once, today's class seems to pass by in a blur. I even managed to eat lunch peacefully with Hikari and Yui. If every day was like this one, I think I could easily get used to a nice and powerful school life. Peaceful, not powerful. When I left my afternoon class, I overheard a few girls in the corridor having a grand old chat. He bought me this amazing pair of boots. He's so delightful. I'm so jealous of you. Wish I had a boyfriend that bought me nice things. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll get one one day. It's not fair. I've had my eye on a few expensive gifts on sale at the department store, but I need someone to buy them for me. Hmm, girls really seem to really swoon when a guy buys them gifts. This gives me an idea. Maybe I should check out the department store and see if, see if there are any gifts my friends would like. But I, I'll have to choose carefully. I know Hikari likes cute and fun stuff. The other girls, however, I have no clue about. Yui's so secretive and quiet. Miyu is a li is mi little Miss Perfect. And Kat is, well, pretty sure she's a dominatrix in her spare time. I should keep in mind that since the girls all have different tastes, I should only give specific gifts to each girl. Well, when I have some time, I should visit the department store. If I can pick a nice gift for someone, maybe I can convince him to be my girlfriend. It's like bribery, but socially acceptable. That's the spirit. I can now travel to the department store. Boy, I sure can. Okay, so I'm just going to assume that this April 25th thing is a typo, and I'll, and we're going to stick to it. So, uh, we're supposed to shop at the convenience store. Convenience store. Shop here. And what are we buying here? Uh, actually, quick pause here. I was hoping I could check the schedule, but maybe not. All right, all right. Uh, shop here. So we need to buy lollipops. Okay, so so, so according to the guide, it says spend all your money on lollipops. You should have around twenty. Really? <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Well, 18 is around 20, right? <laughs> Hopefully that's fine. Yikes. Okay. And then what are we doing? We're going to the hallway. Okay, uh, go somewhere else. Oops, that's a library. Go somewhere else. Hallway. Hey! Alright, so we're supposed to give Miu a gift. Want a lollipop? Thank you, I'll treasure this. Treasure it briefly, it's a lollipop. Infection increased by one. Interesting. I wonder if there's a point to that, or if I, or if you do just do that for the achievement. That seems, seems kind of funny. Oh, it's the same day! I get it! Okay, so that's why there's not, there's not a date above it. Alright. It's just the way it's set up is kind of confusing, so it's like... Yeah, it's a little confusing the way the guide is set up on this little part here. So it's the same day. So then you go to the convenience store and then you work there. Okay. Go somewhere else. Convenience store. Work. Work. Alright, time goes by slowly. 
Hello, cutie. My, my, my. You are an absolute delight. Uh, well, I have a daughter about your age. Maybe I could introduce you to. Um, did you want to buy anything? Oh, heavens, no. I just came in to say hello. There's a line of customers. If you're not shopping, I need you to step aside. Thanks. Hmm, <laughs> how rude. There's no way I'll introduce you to my daughter. Well, I can't want them all. Customer storms off. That's quite the story. All right, and then we go home and we read a book. And read book. The last chapter in this book, actually. Beautiful. There's the finished expertise level two. There's a increase in our expertise. Lovely. All right, so now the 27th. We're going straight to school, no surprise there. Straight to school. All right, quick pause. I just want to double check here how we're all doing. Okay, beautiful. And then let's double check my audio. Lovely. Let's get my guide back open before I close anything. All right, another blissful day of easy classes and no drama. Ah, life is good. Until... Excuse me, what do you think you're doing? Don't you dare zone out when I'm talking to you. Little laugh. She's right, Yuki. You should pay attention when people are talking to you. Oh, jeez. Even now, me, even me was berating me. Sorry, cat. Um, what were you saying? She says something in French. What, what I put up with. I was saying we should all get together over the weekend, and Yuki suggested we could hang out at her favorite cafe. Just like we did last weekend. You remember Yuki? Ah, uh, yeah, I remember. I got left with the bill, and I started to think of shady ways I could pay it off, like selling my unused organs. Uh, yeah, I remember. It'll be fun. I'm definitely gonna get a parfait again. Parfait? Hmm. Might be too sweet for me. I usually just order the caviar. That sounds like a weird thing to order at a cafe. Whatever. Uh, me, it's not that kind of place. Oh, I see. I was about to say, like I said, I was like, I think it's a weird thing to order at a cafe. Then I will examine the menu when we arrive. Then it's settled. Uh, let's all meet at Cafe Shiba tomorrow morning, bright and early. And you, don't you dare pull some weird trick like, oh no, I forgot my wallet. I won't be paying for your pitiful meal. Yes, master. You two are so funny. Well, let's all meet tomorrow. See you then. All right, we're going to the library to return the book, and then we're going to grab level three expertise. Uh, library. We need to library services. We're going to return the book. Okay, and then we're going to use library services. We're going to borrow a book and expertise level three. There we go. And then we're going to spend time or give you a gift, and we're going to give her a lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop. Okay, and then we're going to work at the convenience store. Um. Okay. We're going to go somewhere else. And then... Yeah, convenience store. I keep thinking I keep being tempted to buy two more lollipops because uh, he said that you should have around 20. And I have 18, so do you, do you think that that counts as around 20? I don't really know. Maybe we'll hold off to it for now and we'll just see what happens. Anyway, because I, I spent all the money I had and I, had, I got 18. So I don't feel like I... And I'm just... All I did was follow the guide, so I don't feel like I did anything wrong. So, whatever. Anyway, okay... So we're supposed to, what are we on? 27th, I lost my place. It's a long, long, it's a long list. It's kind of hard to keep track of. All right, we already gave her the gift. We're just, just supposed to work there, okay. Work. I'm gonna swipe slowly. Here, I'll take this ramen. That'll be 100 yen. And here's your change, thanks. Peace. The customer takes his cup of ramens and walks towards the door. Instead of leaving, he sits on the ground, takes his backpack off and pulls something out. It looks like a bottle of hot water. He proceeds, he proceeds to add the hot water to his cup of ramen noodles. Because of where he's sitting, other customers have to step around him. Hey, uh, you can't eat that here. Can you go outside? Nah, dude, it won't be long. He then takes a laptop out of his backpack and loads up an extremely loud movie. Can you please move? You're in the way of other customers. I don't think he can hear me now. He's slipping away on his ramen and watching his screen. I throw up my hands in defeat. That's certainly something. All right. So there is the money. Okay, and then we're just supposed to read our book. Three chapters, as usual, nothing crazy. Okay, two chapters remaining. And now we're on the 28th. And, but the next day that matters is the 29th, so I'm assuming this day will go by without our choices. But it makes sense, it is a Saturday, so that would not at all surprise me. Anyway, uh, the sound of a text message wakes me up from my peaceful slumber. <laughs> Yo, what's up? You down to hang out today? Ah, good old Shin. As much as I'd love to hang out, I'd have to tell him I already have plans. 
Actually, maybe I can invi invite him along. It might be good to have some backup when facing Cat. I may I message him back and ask if he'd like to meet us at the cafe. Heck yeah, that sounds dope. I finally get to meet those cuties you've been hanging out with. I'll see you I'll see you out there. With that organized, I decided to get going. I would have asked my friends first personally, because I feel like inviting another friend is kind of not is not super cool. Judging by the excited chatter, it would seem the girls are already here. I find their table and stride on over. Good morning, Yuki. We've been waiting for you, but don't worry. We didn't order anything yet. Come sit next to me. I slide into the chair between Hikari and Miyu. Good morning. Good morning. Here, let me move my purse so you have more room. Ah, thanks. Nice to uh, nice to see you or something. I, I honestly wasn't really paying attention. Where's my hello? Hello, cat. How are you? I'm fine, but I'm getting hungry. Yeah, by the way, I invited my friend, my friend Shin to join us. Hope that's okay with everyone. You invited Shin? Yeah, Hikari has already met him, but I'll introduce the rest of you. Silence. Like I said, I would have asked first. A friend of Yugi? Wonder what he's like. My expectations are low. I'm sure he will be nice enough. As if on cue, Shin comes waltzing into the cafe. He spots sitting. He spots me sitting in the nest of girls, and his face immediately turns red. His bold swagger turns into an awkward, awkward shuffle as he proceeds towards our table. Poor guy, he's so outnumbered. Uh, hello, I'm Shin. Yo! Little laugh. Uh, let me introduce you to everyone. This is Yui, Miyu, and Kat, and of course, you know Hokari. Hello everyone, nice to meet you. Charmed. Good morning. I'm expecting very little, and yet I find myself still disappointed by your appearance. Yikes. <laughs> Take a seat, dude. Yeah, cool. S uh, Shin sits down in the only available seat right next to Kat, the devil herself. It's a bold move, and I say a quick prayer for his safety. An awkward silence fills the air. Thankfully, the tension is broken when the waitress comes around. Hello, may I take your order? Jenny? Is she from the block? Anyway, sorry. We all help place our orders and the waitress skips away happily. The silence picks up right where it left off. Finally. Uh, Yuki's friend, can you please not breathe so loud? It's irritating. Uh, sorry about that. I'll try to be quiet. Shin looks at me with a defeated expression, then he turns to Hikari. Hey, Hikari, how have things been? Haven't seen you for quite a while. Uh, things are okay, you know. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Got a job at, the, at that convenience store. A job, huh? You like it? Nah, but what can you do? Pays the bills. Yeah. Awkward Silence version 2.0 commences. Then... Enough of this nonsense. Shin, is it? Yes. Tell me, are you training to become a magical boy? Uh, no. No, I'm not. I don't have a magical bone in my body. I see. Uh, that, well, are you a fan of magical girls? Yes, very much so. In fact, uh, I actually know who you are, Miyu. You do. Yeah, you're kind of famous. You're such a prodigy that even I've heard of you. I'm flattered, thank you. What is it like? I mean, what's it like? I mean, studying magic. Is it fun? It's interesting, that's for sure. I don't think I have a knack for it like me, you, but... That's not true, Yui. You're really good at alchemy. I suppose so. Alchemy, huh? That's pretty cool. Did you? Did, can you make love potions? L love potions? Yui's cheeks turn crimson. She seems to ponder the question for quite a, for a while. I probably could, if I tried. Whoa, that's awesome! Have you ever tried to? If you ever need someone to test a love potion on, Yui turns away in complete embarrassment, and Shin just grins in his trademark stupid way. Before long, the waitress brings our order around. Everyone has ordered a lot of food, and I begin to sweat at the thought of paying for it all. I'll have to make sure no one has a chance to leave before they've paid their e before they've each paid their own bill. We all begin to dig in. Pin says something in French. The food is delicious. Whoa, you speak French? Hmm. Just then, you said something that sounded French. It sounded like say trombone. <laughs> I wouldn't have even said it. Yes, I speak a little French. My father is fr my father is French, you see. Ah, really? I had no idea. I thought you were born here in Japan. Well, I was, of course. That's why my ja that's why my Japanese something in French. Well, that's the <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother. Not even gonna try. I refuse to try. It'll be so bad. I I can barely speak English. Okay. Anyway, that's so cool, man. I I'd really like to learn learn to speak French. Well, I'm not gonna teach you. Find some other sucker to waste our time on you. Cat, why are you so mean to Shin? I'm not mean. I just she treats me she treats me the same way. In case you haven't noticed. Yeah, I had noticed. Why is that, Cat? You're so nice to the rest of us. I I what is this? An interrogation? Look, I'm sorry. Okay, I just don't have the practice for. I don't have the patience for stupid people. Hey, I'm not stupid. You should be nicer, Cat. I definitely wasn't expecting Hikari to stick up for us, but I'm glad she did. Cat seems to calm down calm down a bit. Okay, I'm sorry, Shin. I'm sorry, Yuki. I'll try really hard to be nicer to you both. Tears well up into her eyes, I'm in complete shock. So please, don't, please don't give up on me. Please be my friends. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> that's so sad. I've never seen this girl so vulnerable, so sincere. It's a side of her I, did, I didn't think could even exist. Hey, it's okay. Don't cry. You didn't hurt my feelings. I apologize if I came on a, a bit more stupid than I actually am. That's a, such a weird thing to apologize for. Cat lets out a single giggle as she wipes her eyes. Thank you, Shin. 
She looks towards me, her tears streak her face with a slight smile. I can't help but think there's more to this girl than I initially thought. No harm done. No, no, no harm done, Cat. I'll still be your friend. Thank you, Yuki. There. Isn't that better? I hope everyone feels more comfortable now. Thank you, Miyu. You set that in motion. That was all you. Yep, I sure do. Who wants some of this apple danish? Feel free to dig in. Shin's got plenty to go around. The girls all laugh, and I can't help but feel whatever spell of nervous tension we were under has finally been broken. I don't know why everyone was so tense. I want to chalk it up to Cat's super atti sour attitude, but there has to be more to it than that. Even Akari was cold to Shin when he first came by, and those two have known each other for years. I introduced them, and, they've, and I always thought that they were friends. Well, regardless, everyone seems to be having a good time now. The rest of the day passes pleasantly, and we all say goodbye at the cafe, and thankfully everyone pays for their own meal. That's a nice change. Shin and I remain outside the cafe to chat a little longer. Yo dude, thanks for introducing me to everyone everyone today. It was a bumpy start, but I had a good time. Whoop, sorry about that. I hang on a minute, we can go back. I accidentally hit it twice. Where's the log here? I think there's a log somewhere. Oh, there it is. Alright, hang on a minute. Um I think it's this one. Okay, we did not miss anything. Okay, yeah, thanks for introducing me for everyone today. It was a bumpy start, but I had a good time. Okay, we're good. Uh, not to mention, uh, don't mention it. I think I've made more friends than I can handle, though. Yeah, it seems that way. Cat is a handful, but me, you, and Yui are both really nice. You don't seem to get along with Hikari anymore. What's the deal? Hikari? Hikari? Uh, yeah, we don't talk like we used to. She's pretty distant. She's been pretty distant for a while now. I know she's one of your best friends and all. We just don't see eye to eye anymore. I see. Sorry, I do try to be friendly with her, but she really wants to say a word to me. It's okay, I'm not blaming either of you, but if something has gone down between you two, I'd like to know about it. No, it's nothing like that. People just change, you know? Yeah, I guess so. Don't sweat it. Anyway, I've got a shift coming up. Catch you later. Okay, catch you later. Shin goes his own way, so I decide to call it a day and get some rest. <laughs> I'm assuming I did more than that. All I did was go to the cafe in the morning. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm tuckered out, guys. I did one tiny thing. Can't even relax. Just gotta go home and sleep. It's like, yikes. Anyway, so I think today is the 29th, I think it said, so we do have stuff to do today. Okay. The rain is coming down pretty heavily today. Since it's Sunday, I don't feel bad about staying inside on such a horrible day. Maybe I'll sleep in until tonight. There's still some time before I need to go to bed. What should I do? So it is the 29th. I need to go give you a gift at the department store. Uh, travel. That's not the right store. <laughs> That's not the right store. Hang on a minute. Go somewhere else. I'm in department store. Alright, department store, or giving Yui a gift. Give Yui a gift. Lollipop. I remember getting this from you once before. I can't believe you got me a gift. Thank you so much. Boy, I sure do. Alright, and then you're going somewhere else. And we're gonna go work at the convenience store. Okay, go somewhere else. Convenience store. And we're going to work. Beautiful. Hello, I'd like to- I'd like to sell you this mop. Um, that's our mop. We use it to clean the store. Where did you get that? Oh, it's your mop. Then I'll cut you a deal. Two- two thousand yen. Take it or leave it. I'm not paying you for the store's mop. Take it or leave it. Can you just put the mop back, please? Take it or leave it. Um, leave it. Understood. Gusper walks out the store, still carrying the mop. I call the manager, explain to him that I think we just got robbed. <laughs> it's just like- like, the, the little tiny stories are just really funny. <laughs> Like, some of them are just weird, but at least a lot of them just make me laugh. Alright, 30th. And quite a bit to do today. Okay, straight to school. There's quite a lot going on today. Alright, good morning, Yuki. Did you enjoy the rest of your weekend? Yeah, it was good. Thanks for asking. How was yours? Acceptable. Whoop, sorry. I accidentally hit it twice again. My hand got caught on my cord. Uh, let's uh, roll back down here. Uh, acceptable, I got, I got caught, I caught up on my studies and practiced violin, that's what she said. Violin, huh? That sounds pretty cool. Indeed, do you play any instruments? Well, no. I see. I feel like my skill set pales in comparison to yours, you, me, you. Hmm. That kind of thing doesn't matter to me. Really? However, I have a lot of respect for people that study hard. Good grades are very important to me. Good grades, huh? In fact, if I ever were to date anybody, they would have to rival me in terms of academic effort. I wouldn't accept anyone that didn't excel in their studies and perform well on exams. Interesting. Keep that in mind. Very well. Anyway, enjoy your classes today. Study hard. Yeah, I'm, I sure will. Alright, so first of all, we're going to the classroom to give Hikari a gift. Uh, classroom. Give Hikari a gift. Uh, thank you for the gift. Really happy with it. Yay! 
Okay, and then we're going to the hallway to give me you a gift. Whoops. <laughs> I love how I literally always go to the wrong place. Hallway. Okay, then we're giving... Give me you a gift. Lollipop. I give candy. Candy for everybody. All right, and then we're gonna go work at the, work at the convenience store. I'm noticing a trend. Work. Work. Nothing of interest happens. All right, and then we're gonna go read. Like I said, I'm noticing a trend. Sorry. I, eh. All right, and we're going to read. Two chapters left on that, by the way. Finish that. Beautiful. All right, and then that'll officially bring us to May 1st. Hey! Tuesday, May 1st. Nothing exciting today. We're going to work at the convenience store and then read. So nothing crazy there. Although it is the start of a month, so we should save it. That was something that the game recommended. We're saving it at the start of each month. I imagine that's because... So, so technically, what the, the guide at the very start mentioned this and this makes me very worried it says uh experience gotten by studying seems to be random if for some reason you don't get an achievement at the same point where it's stated in the guide reload a previous save recommended or spend an extra day working on that specific stat not recommended and so what most people so then the other other tip they gave you was try to save at the start of each month just as backup so i'm like if so if i don't get a stat increase somewhere and it like screws us out of an ending is that what they expect me to do play through it like play through the month again that would take forever <laughs> that would be so sad that would just be the saddest thing oh man so the, the, the thing about this game though uh, is it's a lot of this like repetition is is there so there's a lot of reading and reading for my normal episode length is really difficult <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it's like that's a lot of reading to do so it's like reading for like my full two hours i often find to be a little bit difficult not, not saying I can't do it or anything, I'm just saying that out loud reading is for two solid hours. That's a lot to do, man. Like, your, your, your voice is tired, your throat gets tired. Anyway, that's why I have my water with me to help keep my throat alive. Anyway, so today's what, the first? So the first, so go to school. Okay. Yui is stifling a gigantic yawn when I see her in the corridor. Oh, Yuki, I'm so sleepy. Big night watching horror films, hey? Wow, how'd you know? Well, you told me that it's your hobby, so... Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're right, of course. Say, Yui, do you remember what you told me about trying to find someone to date before New Year's Eve? Yeah, I do remember that. Why do you ask? Well, I wanted to know, what exactly do you look for in someone? I like quiet and shy people, just like myself, I suppose. But they have to be passionate about the same subject, about the same things as me. Not just horror films and scary movies, but all manner of occult subjects. And I'd really like it if they had a knack for alchemy, just like me. There's something romantic about the thought of slipping each other love potions and letting the night close in. Intense. Uh, I think I overshared a bit. It's okay, I'm happy to know. Thank you. A little laugh. I head up to the roof to have lunch with Akari and Yui as usual. To my surprise, the girls are nowhere to be found. Well, guess I'm eating alone today. I take a seat in my usual spot, only to see something out of the ordinary. An unfamiliar girl is standing at the edge of the rooftop. She's staring over the railing, lost in her own thoughts. The girl is tall and tanned, with short, dark hair. She's definitely the tomboy type. She seems like she's she'd be right at home playing sports and socializing with a large group of friends. I'm surprised to see that someone like her is he up here all alone. I half expect to see a big group of her friends come up the stairs any minute, but she's definitely all alone up here. Somehow, she must have sensed me staring at her because she turns to look at me. Introducing character number five? I think it's five. I think it's character number five. It's Ray, and I can pronounce that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and this like peppy happy music kicks in. Oh hey, what's up? Uh, sorry, I just saw you standing here alone and I wondered if you were okay. You were worried about me? Aw, that's super cute. I'm all good, thanks for asking. Uh, glad to hear that. Um, I'm Yuki, by the way. Haven't seen you around. Are you first year too? No, I'm a third year. My name's Ray. I thought you looked a little young. You're a first year, huh? Man, I missed my days as a first year. I had so much energy. Ray flashed me a goofy smile, and I somehow instantly feel comfortable around her. She has this familiar, warming presence. Like, she's the complete opposite of me, who instantly, initially felt cold and standoffish. But, hold up, yo. What are you doing up here? I usually eat up here with my friends, but they didn't join me today. Bummer, that sucks. I know, let's eat together. 
Ray holds out the sandwich she's been gently nibbling on and offers it to me. Try this, it's the best thing you'll ever taste. I look at the sandwich in disbelief. It looks pretty ordinary. Maybe it has some special recipe sauce? Go on, don't be shy, take a bite. I, I lean forward hesitantly and take a cautious bite from the sandwich. It tastes just about how I expected it would. It's pretty plain, but I feel like I should at least act impressed. Hmm, that's delicious. Aw, ain't it just? My old ma used to make sandwiches like this for me back when I was a, when I was a sick kid. Uh, whenever I eat them now, I just get transported right back to the good old days. Ray, Ray's smile turns into an expression of curiosity when she looks at the lunch I'm holding. Hmm, what do you got there? Uh, just instant ramen. Sweet, count me in. You got any spare chopsticks? Uh, no, sorry. Oh, no problem. I'll just dig it with my fingers. Bon appetit. Hey, that's something in French I can pronounce. She dips her hand right into the hot cup of instant ramen and pulls out a fistful of noodles. She slurps them down in seconds. That is, like, <laughs> that's freaking weird, dude. Just what I thought, maybe I had finally met someone somewhat normal. My worldview is completely shattered. Is there anyone normal at this academy? Well, all in all, she seems like a good person, even if she is a bit forward. I decide to just go with the flow and play along with Ray's lunchtime fantasies. Give me another bite of that sandwich. Roger that. She laughs like a maniac and tears off a piece of her sandwich before throwing it at my face. I manage to catch it with my mouth and she claps enthusiastically. Good job. Our lunchtime fun is interrupted all of a sudden by a voice from the stairwell. What are you two doing up here? She turn We turn to see who it is. Honestly, I'm looking for you everywhere. I don't think you'd- and I didn't think you'd be up here. Hmm, seems like Miyu has been trying to find me. Sorry Miyu, I had no idea you were looking for me. Miyu just frowns. I wasn't talking to you. Ray. Ray, you know we were going to go over your studies today, but instead you're out here th throwing food around. Oh, geez, sorry, Mimi. That's an adorable nickname. Whoa, you two know each other? Me is my uh, me is my bestest buddy in the whole world. Something like that. It's a revelation I never saw coming. A plot twist so unexpected, so out of place that it just destroyed my entire perspective of this world. Wow, what a drama queen. Miu, the perfect school princess, is best friends with Ray, the happy-go-lucky tomboy. I have to pinch myself to make sure I'm not dreaming. Yuki, stop pitching yourself. You'll bruise your skin. Well, Ray, there's still some time before lunch ends. Do you want to go over your notes? Uh, oh, sure. But I was having fun here. You can't have fun. You can have fun after you've improved your grades. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I guess there's nothing else for it. See you around, Yuki. Thanks for chilling with me. Yeah, I had fun. Good luck with your studies. Miyu shoots me an icy glare. Don't forget that you should be studying, too. Your first set of exams will be here before you know it, and I don't want to be disappointed with your results. I hang my head in shame. Since when was Miyu able to make me feel so guilty? The girls enter the stairwell, and I'm left all alone on the rooftop. Alright, so it's the first. We need to go to the convenience store, work, and then we need to read. Okay. No, 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 no. Stay here. That was close. Uh, convenience store. Oh, I don't want to shop there. I want to work. I also want to learn how to click buttons correctly. That'd be really nice. Alright. There's more of that, and then we're going home to read. Read. And it's the last chapter. The last melon. Alright, that's all of the expertise books. We officially have a C in expertise right out the gate. I mean, comparatively, right out the gate. Wow, there's a lot going on on, uh... Okay, it's actually not, not as crazy as it might look. I don't know, there's quite a bit going on on... <laughs> On today in school, so we have to go to school. We need. We're gonna go to the classroom to give Hikari a lollipop. Then we're gonna go to the library, return the book. We're gonna pick up the uh, book of alchemy, the first one. We're then we're gonna give Yui a lollipop. Then we're gonna go study alchemy at the lab, and then we're gonna go read a book at home. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> so much to do. So little time. All right. Uh, straight to school. Uh, as I'm on my way to my first class, I run into Cat in the hallway. Hey, watch where you're go- Or, I mean, what a pleasure it is to see you this morning. Hey, Cat, how you doing? I'm- well, I'm well. I actually just been window shopping before school. Oh yeah? What you got your eye on? Well, it's not like you care, but I, there's a really nice pair of gloves on sale. I uh, should have enough money by next week to get them. That's nice. You pinching pennies to save up? Pinching pennies? How dare you? I'm not some peasant. I come from a very wealthy family, I'll have you know. I just, my assets are tied up right now, you know? I'm planning to speak to my financial advisor very soon. Uh, I see. Well, I hope you get those gloves soon. Thank you. I can't put my finger on your financial status. Are you rich just like me, or were you born in the gutter? Uh, neither? Neither? What is neither supposed to mean? Don't tell me you're middle class. Well, I guess I am. I never really thought about it. How dreadful. I've, uh, oh, and I've got newfound pity for you now. Gee, thanks. You know, if you ever want to move up in the world, you've got a long way to go from middle class. I'd suggest starting a part-time part job, or three. 
Without wealth, how can you expect to capture the heart of a pretty girl? I, for one, would never date a middle-class nobody. I'll keep that in mind. Make sure that you do. Yeah, what a snob, dude. As I sit in class today, I remember my conversation with Miyu and Rei from yesterday. I can't help but feel the pressure of Miyu's expectations on my shoulders. She wants me to study hard to get good grades to ace my exams, but the weight of her expectations is making it even harder to actually concentrate on studying. I feel like I'm just going to disappoint her, no matter what. If I don't do well on my exams, will I fail at the academy? If I'm going to spend so much, so much of my time here, I should at least put in a little effort. So from today on, I'm going to use my time more effectively. I'll study hard and make everyone proud of me. I can now travel to the lab, the field, and the park. Okay, when I reach the gates, I am surprised to see no less than five girls waiting for, waiting for me. It would seem that Ray, my newest friend, has joined my lovely harem. Yo, I can't believe you got so many girls waiting for you. You a little are you a little heartbreaker? What's the deal? Yuki is just Yuki. Ray, how'd you guess that these were my friends? Mimi told me, of course. I introduced Ray to everyone this afternoon. I figured I couldn't keep her existence a secret any longer. Hope that's okay. Mimi, why do you always gotta act like you talk like you're ashamed of me? I'm not ashamed of you, Ray. Just I wish you'd work harder. Ugh. My, our group certainly has gotten lively. I never expected to make so many friends at the academy. I hardly make any friends in my first. I hardly made any friends in my first year here, and yet you you all met each other just so quickly. Don't worry, Cat. You're part of the group now. It doesn't matter if you're a second year. We still love you. Thanks, Hikari. I'm glad to have so many friends now, even if some of them are complete. It. Uh. Nope. Don't say it. Little laugh. Well, anyway, Yuki, you gotta choose one of us. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, you know, it's pretty clear that Yuki just wants just, just wants us for our bodies, but you gotta pick, you can't have all of us. I freeze in fear, this is a trap. It's a trap, it's a trap, it's a trap. Don't answer the question, don't answer the question. I like being friends with all of you. Ray shuffles around bur uh, before bursting into a fit of laughter. Yo, I totally had you going. You should have seen the look on your face. The rest of the girls visibly relaxed. I could tell that they were not in on the joke. We're not in on the joke. Believe the, believe, relieved that Ray wasn't serious, I feel like I can let my guard down. But seriously, I play hard to get, okay? Don't think I'm easy. If you're gonna if you if you wanna get with me, you'd better treat me right. The rest of the girls giggle along with her. It definitely seems like Ray is the life of the party. I thought that maybe my days could be peaceful, but as long as he's with these girls around, I don't think I'm gonna get any rest. Oh well, pretty sure this is what I've always wanted anyway. Five lovely ladies that all seem to tolerate me at the very least. Picking only one it will be a tough choice. <laughs> now if you do this playthrough, you won't. Anyway, uh, but I vowed to have a girlfriend by New Year's Eve. That's my goal, and I'm sticking to it. If I focus on just one, I can probably woo her and try to win her heart. Let the challenge begin. Ray is now available. Okay, so, so much to do. What, what are we doing? We're going to the classroom to give Hikari a gift. Classroom! Uh, Hikari a gift. And... Lollipop. I know it's like... I know I gave it to you before, okay? Anyway. Increase by one, and then we're gonna go to the library to return a book. Library. Library services. Return a book. Library services, and we're gonna take Alchemy Book One. Alchemy Book One. And then we're going to give Yui a gift. Okay, then we're gonna go to the lab to study alchemy. And we're gonna go lab, study alchemy. All right, by taking the time to study, you can improve your key attributes. Boosting your key attributes has helpful effects, plus girls will become more interested in you if your attributes are high. Um, study on a rainy day to increase the boost to your attribute. So your magic, you can upgrade that in the school practice field. Alchemy is in the school lab. Expertise is in the school debate club. And perception is in the park. Now you know. And if it's raining, you get a bonus. So, now you know. <laughs> okay, and we are studying alchemy here. I take up my alchemy books and begin to study. The context of the book is very difficult to wrap my head around. The content, not context. Alchemy increased. And then we're going to t read a book at home. Read the book. All right, three total chapters, nothing new there. Lovely. All right, now the next thing on the guide says the 10th. So I guess for the next, what, eight days? I guess there's nothing going on. Is that, I mean, that seems like a lot. Maybe there'll be a montage or something. Because, yeah, because uh, the next time the the guide says anything, it's the 10th of May. So, I imagine 
that, uh, yeah, I imagine that probably means something. 13, 14, yeah, and then after that, it looks like it's every single day. It's just, like, normal part of, the, like, part of the grind for the most part. There's a few days in the middle that's, that is different. Um, but otherwise, because, like, yeah, because the next day that we actually have to do something is the 10th. But after that, it's every single day is, like, a normal schedule up until, like, I don't know, the 24th of May. And then we only have one option. And after that, and then it, all the way to the 31st, it's just, like, regular regular club stuff you know it's like just right regular stuff and then looks like in june some more things develop yeah it looks like there's more stuff going on in june now obviously there will be plot and stuff going on before then i'm just saying that that does look like the case okay let's go ahead and give it a a, a save here because i think that'll be a pretty good place to call it uh my original plan was that i was going to have these games trade off um now currently my schedule has actually changed and i'm a little bit more available than i once was um and so uh and so i might try doing two videos a day like i used to back in the day and make th make this game shorter this weekend uh so far this is the only video i'm planning on getting out today um i'm hoping because i didn't get the get to watch my anime like i was hoping that i would too last night but i'm still a little hopeful that maybe for tomorrow i could actually get out my positive anime review uh i'm a little hopeful that i can make that happen so, uh, so maybe for now, if we can manage it, the, the plan going forward during the regular work will be trying to get out, uh, two videos, um, one being my side game at, at, at an hour and then my regular game at two hours. Um, you know, back to my, my old set. I think that was my old, my old schedule for recording. So maybe we'll hop into that because problem with reading this game for two hours, my voice is tired. I'm tired of talking. So when you read straight for two hours, it's a little different when, uh, it is a little bit different when, all right, let me just double check before I ought to think about what I'm doing for a minute here. So that's the ninth. That's today, I think. And that's saved. All right. Save. This will be where we stop for the thing. Okay. Anyway, but yeah, um, so yeah, I think that that'll be the plan going forward because reading this for two hours is a, like two solid hours of just reading is a little rough and my voice is tired of talking. So for now, maybe we'll go, we'll do like two videos a day. We'll have a main, main game playthrough and a side game playthrough. I'm a little hopeful I can get out a positive anime review for tomorrow, but I'll have to actually make sure I watch actual anime today. And I could probably watch like whatever, two or three episodes today, like this evening, and then maybe tomorrow finish, finish up the last two or three I have or whatever. And then and, and then just do, and then just do the review and so maybe maybe for now that might be the plan but don't plan on the review i'm just hoping i can get it out this weekend so we will have to see what happens there anyway that is going to call for this one thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the content today and we will talk to you guys later